The governor of Goa, Bharat Virvanshu, on Monday lashed out at the union government for not providing financial assistance to the state after the suspension of mining activity in Goa. The governor expressed the hope that a new government in New Delhi that will be formed after the parliamentary elections will hopefully reach out to Goa with a financial package. The governor told the state assembly on the first day of the budget session that repeated requests to the central government for financial assistance and a bailout for people living in mining areas had fallen on deaf ears. He said that despite our best efforts, the central government failed to react in any positive way, even though it has been the biggest beneficiary of iron ore mining and its export from Goa. The governor said the mining ban had resulted in a 20% loss to the state economy and more than 1.5 lakh people who were dependent on the mining sector directly or indirectly had been adversely affected by the ban. Mining has been banned in Goa for over a year and a half now by the Supreme Court, which is probing an alleged Rs 35,000 crore illegal mining scandal. Goa Chief Minister Manohar Parikar will present his budget on the 5th of March. My government is holding decisions with banks to work out the relief package for mining affected borders. My government is trying to again appraise the central government of the gravity of the situation in terms of its impact the economy of the state in general and on the lives of the people in particular and is requested for financial assistance. However, despite our best efforts, central government failed to react in any positive way, even though it has been the biggest beneficiary of iron ore mining and its export exports from Goa in the past when mining activity was in full swing. I sincerely hope that the new government which will be formed after the ensuing general elections to the Lok Sabha, will lend a helping hand to the state in its hour of need by extending a liberal financial package to compensate the losses.